It's Apple's first major hardware launch in almost a decade. The Vision Pro headset aims to set a new standard for virtual and augmented reality tech. But it comes at a price that's enough to make your eyes water. Introducing Apple Vision Pro. And introducing a new term, spatial computing, as in no longer being limited by a display. Apple's latest gadget has been years in the making and it comes packed with tech. 12 cameras, six microphones and five sensors, all built into a device that exudes the sleek Apple chic. And it brings computing into augmented reality as well as virtual reality, making the Vision Pro a mixed reality device. There are certain products that shift the way we look at technology and the role it plays in our lives. We believe Apple Vision Pro is a revolutionary product with the performance, immersion and capability that only Apple can deliver. Sounds good. And yet some tech analysts are wondering what exactly the device is for. For some, it might be looking at photos, watching movies or doing more real life video calls. But no killer app is in sight. That, however, could change. At this price point, with a technology that's still, you know, developing, I still think this category is a couple years off, but it's important that they get this in the hands of developers because, again, for this platform to be successful, Apple needs their developers. And they need customers. At three and a half thousand dollars, the Vision Pro is no bargain, but will likely be picked up by only the most devoted Apple fans. Well, that was Lars Halter reporting there. And earlier I asked Lars if we were seeing the next big thing for Apple. This could definitely be the next big thing. It could be disruptive. And that is something that we've seen Apple do before. Of course, they have been disruptive with a product. They have defined or redefined entire categories. Just think of the iPhone and the iPad. But there's lots of question marks with this one here, because if you just compare it to, let's say, the iPhone, when that came out, people knew immediately what they wanted it for. It was not for making phone calls, but for the Internet, for messaging, for taking pictures, for playing games. And there was such a lot that people immediately knew they could do it, so that made it um, attractive right from the start. And here people are wondering, what is it for? What do you really do with it? What happens in the virtual reality? What happens in the augmented reality? So so there's a lot that they have to still fill in here. What people will also be asking themselves is why does it cost so much? Three and a half grand, that's some seven times as much as its nearest competitor. Yes, it from certainly is a lucrative Meta. price. It's a lot of money. How is Apple justifying it? Well, uh, they don't officially, of course, they just say this is the price and they get a lot of applause because they have their own crowd there at the meeting. Uh, if you look at it, of course, Apple has always been selling their product at a premium. That is uh, true for the iPhone. There's obviously cheaper smartphones that are somewhat comparable. The iPad is more than other uh, tablets, but this actually looks really extreme. I personally think that the price is not even what uh, Apple is looking for here. I don't think they're planning to sell a lot of these over the next year or two. I really think uh, this is right now available mostly to developers and uh, they will probably get it for free anyway because Apple is counting on developers to fill in the blanks, to create a universe really of apps and programs and make this uh, a tool that people actually can relate to and that they desire. And uh, when in, I don't know, two or three years maybe, there is a universe of apps or so available, then look, look at the price point again and I would bet that it's more in the $1,000 to $1,500 price range. Yeah, that's presumably why they're announcing it so far ahead of it actually going to, to market is so that can know, developers have a bit of a bit of chance to uh, to develop some apps for it. So to, I've already mentioned Meta and their, their own products. Are they going to have to respond to this release from Apple and are they ready to compete? It's really interesting what's going to happen to Meta. They've been on this for a while. They have their third set of goggles. And as you mentioned, yeah, they're at 500 bucks. They're a lot cheaper. But they were not successful at all because they also had a problem uh, filling this uh, with usability or so. They did not actually make the augmented uh, reality, the metaverse work for people. Now, very interesting, 
this uh, Apple product could completely destroy Meta by just being better and more attractive, or it could save it entirely if uh, they manage to make this usable and desirable. Of course, that could mean Apple defines once again a new category here in the gadget market, and others, of course, come along for the ride, and then number one after Apple presumably would be Meta. That's going to be interesting to see what happens when it hits the shelves. Lars Halter from DW Business, thank you.